Hi guys. Uh, and nice to see you here on a Sunday. Uh, sadly, my balcony is extremely noisy today, but this is my favorite place to sit on a weekend, so I thought I'd sit here and chat with you. Uh, all this last week, we've talked about um, things we need to chuck out of our lives so that we can actually have a much healthier and fitter existence, and a, uh, you know, we live well, basically. Um, today is day seven. Of all the things that we've spoken about, we've spoken about sugar. We've spoken about how uh, we avoid uh, have you know uh, doing stretches and dynamic movements in order to relax and rejuvenate our body. But the most important thing I think we've skipped out on so far, and we're speaking about today, is about actual relaxation. Most people use a Sunday to do the stuff that they can't do during the week. So if you're the kind of person who works all day, some people work Saturdays as well for whatever reason. Uh, they probably use Sunday to do mundane stuff like grocery shopping or cleaning the house or making the beds or I don't know if we vacuum in India, but we vacuum and to clean up all in all. It ends up being like the day where you know the tail end of the stuff that you can't get done during the week is done uh, for your own. Uh, I don't know if that's really a good practice. Most of the times it's not. It backfires in the long run because it's very, very important for us to get that one day where um, we're able to reset our bodies for the week to come. Stress levels are high. We uh, live generally very stressful lives. And um, there are very few opportunities, especially if you live in a city, in a busy city like Mumbai, to take time off for yourself. Because a lot of time goes, if you're going to be going to work, a lot of time goes in traveling to and from work. By the time you get home and your day ends, you're just out cold and you're ready to run the next day. So, um, we tend to neglect things like rest and relaxation. Or, we're completely unaware as to how to incorporate them into our lives. So, I just wanted to do a short little session today because I would rather that you rested and relaxed than listen to me. Uh, a short little session today on what you can do, things you can do immediately. To, to lower your stress levels and to start relaxing and start feeling a lot better and preparing yourself for the week to come. Uh, first of all, why do we need to relax? Why do we need to beat this demon called stress, which is the thing that we haven't yet spoken about this week? Stress, especially in its chronic state, does some pretty terrible things to the body. Plays havoc with our hormonal system. And uh, in, uh, in your peak stressed out state, you tend to have... Um, like pressure spikes, you tend to have insulin spikes, you tend to have food cravings, which are just, you know, just your regular, regular stuff. Over a prolonged period of time, stress can affect your immunity levels. Stress can create, uh, it can lower the, uh, the uh, occurrence of serotonin and dopamine in your brain, which means that it actually mimics symptoms like depression. And in humans, it could actually lead to depression. It could be chronic stress that's leading you to feel uh, a sense of... Um, you know, uh, hopelessness and not being able to enjoy anything or any anything in your life. So, um, also I have read that stress apparently actually literally kills brain cells. So, cognitive functioning also reduces if you are uh, placed under constant stress. So, why do we need to relax per se? I have picked out five reasons. There are a lot more, I'm sure. And you can always go ahead and do a little more research. Why do we need to relax? And I mean literally, deliberately relax. Because one, it reduces chronic stress buildup, which has these um, uh, effects, like I spoke about, which kills your brain cells and uh, just has a lot of cascading effects on your uh, physical health. Two, immediately lowers your blood pressure. Having bl high blood pressure at any point is not good at all for your cells in any form. So lowering it immediately is probably the best thing you can do. Um, Thirdly, it improves memory and cognitive ability. This is what I was talking about. That instead of killing off brain cells, you reduce your stress levels at the moment, and actually your ability to function mentally as well instantaneously improves. Over a period of time, having lower level of stress will give you, will boost your immunity to catch less colds, to catch less virus. So it keeps your body strong from the inside. And fifth would be, again, keeps you safe from emotional illnesses, unless, of course, there, there's a underlying medical condition which of course stress can make worse but uh, it could keep you safe from having something that would be related to chronic stress like depression so um, for all these reasons just to name a few there are some I have five tips that you can get started on immediately which are not going to break the bank not going to cost a lot
lot of money for you to do. Something that you will have to cut, include into your schedule, probably on a Sunday for even a short period of time, in order to lower immediately your stress levels. The first important thing that I was going to tell you was something as simple as aromatherapy. Any scent that you like, be it be it candles, be it um, you know even a tea. Before you're drinking it, you'll be taking in the aroma of it. A few scents that immediately come to mind would be lavender, peppermint, chamomile. um cinnamon vanilla these are all scents that make you instantly calm and take you to a better place so whichever one appeals to you whichever one makes you feel like you like you know you're going to that blissful state pick one maybe you could get a candle for it if that suits you like i said you could always sip a tea and uh, take a little time out to be with that smell it makes a huge difference you could also find the nowadays you get balms with those scents as well so if you tend to be anxious or stressed You could just apply a little bit of that balm on your pulse points, and it will keep you calm. It will help a lot. The second thing that I use a lot is music, and it doesn't matter what kind of music. For some strange reason, probably because of my years as a, a trainer and as a dancer, I love Euro trash. Anything that came out of the nineties, uh, you know, the Hadaway times. So I just love it. It makes me feel really, really good. It keeps me in a great state. It's not a blissful state, but I feel really good. So it makes me feel de-stressed. So pick a kind of music that you like. It's so easy to have that on your phone even now, and you just plug it in and spend five or ten or fifteen minutes, you know, just being in that space with that music that you're playing. The third thing I would recommend would be some very light activity. It doesn't need to be a workout. It can be light activity like a walk. You could combine that with the music. You could combine that with the aroma therapy if you happen to be in a space which has smells that you enjoy. Um, anything that makes you move a little bit and that. instantly uh, when you exercise you have any kind of physical movement the uh, your body releases endorphins which are the happy hormones so instantaneously start to feel better so pick a light activity if you can combine that with fun if you can play a game or just have a little match with a couple of friends in your building that would be a great way to de stress as well because then you're combining the social activity which is also great the fourth thing i want to say is try and explore something creative and art or you don't need to be good at it a lot of people don't bother with creativity because they feel oh i'm not creative i don't i don't know how to paint or i don't know how to draw it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you know whatever you just take a blank sheet of paper take a lot of colors onto a palette just take a bowl of water and just work with the colors and let them do whatever they want it's very therapeutic especially when there's no expectation of coming up with some sort of masterpiece you can ab- absolutely just sit with that piece of paper and you know be those who are more creative i i tend i love working with my hands myself personally so i do a lot of doodling i do crochet i knit these are all activities that bring your heart uh, heart rate down and really calm you down and de-stress you this doesn't mean that you do this while you're watching tv it's just you and the activity that you've taken on along with that if you like to read if you like to journal if you like to write take a little time in your day on a sunday to do that and to be one with what kind of a creative activity you'd like to explore so i uh, just to summarize because a lot of people have just joined in what i've been talking about from the beginning i'm to- i've been talking about why is it important to relax why is it important for us to adopt a uh, a, a relaxation uh, re- routine regime in our lives because it's some it's the first thing that will get neglected especially since our lives are so busy during the week that uh, constraints or whatever So instead of doing that, if you can even take off ten, fifteen minutes of your day to do a bunch of things to make you feel absolutely calm for that short period of time, it will have a huge effect in the future for you. Uh, relaxation will lower your stress. Relaxes chronic. Uh, it, it releases uh, chronic stress buildup, which is the worst thing you can do to your system in any way at all. It has so many, so many health. You know. It, it, I will call them deficits because everything is being taken out of your system just to deal with that stress that you put your body and mind under. So it lowers chronic stress buildup. It lowers your blood pressure instantaneously and immediately. It improves your memory. It improves your, it improves your cognitive ability. You're better able to make decisions. Better able to deal with people and situations that day as well as the day that's the week that's coming up. It improves your immunity. So you're much less likely to be sick. And uh, less likely to catch colds and virals if your stress levels remain low and are 
uh, deliberately lowered over a period of time and it keeps you safe from chronic stress related conditions like depression being under a lot of stress all the time can put you in a state of hopelessness and feel like you know this like it's like you're a, like basically like a hamster running in a cage and you don't end up feeling like you're really doing anything uh, for yourself i realize that it's hard to find time to really do things for yourself as they say so i would not recommend that you take 5 hours or a whole day it's probably not possible if you can that's fantastic if you can't then these are five things that you can definitely do and you can start doing now one invest in some sort of aromatherapy treatment whichever way you want to put it essential oils candles balms uh, you know herbal teas which are uh, aromatic anything that you can do put your favorite scent in it the kind of scent that makes you just close your eyes and sigh that feels so good you want to try it find what that scent is for you and use that uh spend a little time nursing that cup of tea and you know just appreciating the space that you are in in the universe second important thing would be music everybody has some sort of great music around them that they love put it on it will instantly instantly lower your heart rate if you can combine that with an activity fantastic you know, go for a walk or something just sit and be and take in your surroundings with your favorite music playing that's great too the third thing would be some sort of light activity it can be yoga it can be a stretch it can be a walk it can be a stroll on the beach with somebody it doesn't have to be a workout uh, a lot of people do be stressed by working out which is great as well so if that's something that you like to do and it is not something that adds to your stress levels by all means please do it um the th- fourth thing that i was talking about was doing something creative it could be uh, just painting with watercolors on a blank sheet of paper Uh, amongst our uh, wall of community, my child goes to wall of school. We have this thing called wet on wet painting. You can explore it on the internet. It's it's, it's it has absolutely like it, it. You don't need to have any structure at all, and you don't need to be trained in art, so to speak, to really enjoy it. It's great fun. You need to have a piece of really good quality art paper that is nicely soaked and wet, and you need great paints. And you can create whatever you want on it, and it's extremely soothing and very very calming. So give that a try. If you journal, go ahead and journal. That's great. If you like to read, please read. Uh, I personally knit, crochet, I doodle as well. I love to draw and I love to paint and sketch. And those are the, probably my favorite things to do when I'm really stressed out to calm me down. I also like to cook. So if there's people around to feed, I cook the cook for them. And uh, not always low fat stuff. I'm not always healthy stuff. Sometimes it's just stuff that I'm okay to feed them, but not myself. So I bake maybe, and I'll, that's de-stressing for me. Now the fifth thing that I have missed out from the beginning of our talk, the fifth thing I would like to tell you is the most important tip of all. This is the easiest thing. It's a small, actual, physical exercise. So if you are watching right now, I would like you to just close your eyes for a second. I'm still going to be speaking, so you'll hear my voice. I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to feel the muscles in your forehead go limp. Deliberately do that. Close your eyes. Make your forehead muscles go limp stay in that zone for a couple of minutes and you will feel yourself tightening your forehead muscles again and like there are furrows that appear on your on your forehead quite automatically everybody has them try it one more time close your eyes just make your forehead go limp it is the most effective relaxation technique let me tell you If you lie down flat on the ground on a mat and just think of, I need to make my forehead go limp. You will find yourself absolutely as it's like every single muscle in your body just flops at that point. It's very hard for people who are used to being active all the time to find that space where they are completely relaxed because your mind keeps running. Don't worry about that. Just physically, every single muscle in your body will relax with that one little thing. If you practice that for about five minutes and train yourself to do that, the longer you do it, the more often you do it. Rather, the longer you'll be able to hold on to it without your forehead going up like that again. It happens to all of us, especially when we speak. So you'll have to deliberately do this to yourself. You don't even have to use your hands. Just close your eyes and think of your forehead muscles going limp, and you will feel yourself completely relax. If you can practice that one every day, it will be extremely useful. It's a very simple technique. Um, I don't know if anybody else has ever followed it, but this is something that I have taught myself because I am a type A personality. You can tell from the speed with which I speak. So it's very hard for me to 
relax per se. So I have to do something physically, so my body automatically goes into that space. So uh, for me, this technique has been very, 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 very effective. There are a lot more physical techniques and things that you can do in order to relax. If you have any that you could share with me, that you do specifically so that you, that it calms you down, please share. I would like to know. And uh, yeah, so the reason why I'm talking about this today is that if you're going to be embarking on some sort of a health or wellness journey and you're not able to manage your stress and you're not able to relax, what's going to happen is you're already stressing out your body by adding something new for it. Your mind is already overburdened. So is there a possibility that you will be able to follow through with the full 21 day or a little further on if you'd like to continue this for a longer period of time? I don't know. It's very hard. We don't want your health and wellness journey being derailed by you catching a cold all of a sudden or feeling too tired or too depressed to do anything or uh, you know just it's, it's, it's very hard to do more when you're already stressed. So the most important thing to do before I talk in the coming week about things we're going to add into your program on a daily basis is to release this one big monster that we call stress. And the way to do that is sometimes by doing something physical rather than simply you know, you get these, uh, you, you meet people and they say, you're so stressed out, yeah, you need to relax, but how? It's very easy to say, you know, that you need to relax. So I would like to know if there are things that you've ever thought about that you physically do that make you go into a relaxed state of mind. Instead of just telling yourself to relax like it's construction, maybe you need to just do that one little thing and you know that it's an activity that will definitely get you into a better, better frame of mind and then you can do whatever else you do with so today being Sunday, I'm not going to keep you guys for too long. I just want you all to think about how and what you can do so that today you have that ability to release that spring that's been tight all week. Let it relax completely and start fresh again from Monday morning. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining in. I'd like, if there, I'd like you guys to, if you have any questions, to please share with me right now since I'm here, I'd be happy to take them. And um, yeah. Also, I'd like to check whether you guys have been following the last seven days. Have you been adopting any of the techniques that we've spoken about? We spoke about um, just showing up on the first day, just being there, not allowing things to interrupt in your decision to live a healthier life. We spoke about uh, just five minutes a day and then adding something to your daily routine. So those five minutes eventually become 20 minutes and those eventually become 30 minutes and those eventually will grow to whatever it grows to. We spoke about the reasons and excuses we have for not contributing our uh, best to ourselves. About the things that we create, about the circumstances that we create around us. I will say create around us because you see it's very hard for any person to get out of what they are familiar with. If you're familiar with being in the state and in the health that you are, your own body will try and resist, your own mind will try and resist the change that you're trying to put it through. So it will come up with excuses. It will come up with, and sometimes those excuses that are internal manifest on the outside. You tell yourself, you know, I'm embarking on this fitness program. Will I be able to do it? I might just, I don't know. You know I, I'm not good at sticking to stuff. And bang, on Wednesday, you have a cold and you drop out of the gym. That happens. You manifest stuff that we believe in, right? So if you're afraid of it, you're going to manifest it. So what are your excuses and your reasons? that you are making for yourself and that you are manifesting into the outside world so that you cannot be your healthiest and your fittest best. We spoke about things that we definitely need to drop from our diets in order to quickly and easily and efficiently lose weight. We talked about how sugar is bad for us, alcohol is bad for us. We talked about things like the myths, the five biggest myths that people follow when they embark on a diet program. We talked about how carbohydrates are not the villain, fats per se are not the villain. And how everybody who talks to you about going on a soup and salad diet is probably not going to really lose much weight. Especially if they eat out a lot. So my all, all my previous live videos are available here and they're available on my YouTube channel also. So if you'd like to please go ahead and watch those if you happen to have missed them. Today what has happened is we, and yesterday I spoke about um, rest and recovery. Not rest in the same way that we're speaking today. Not relaxation, but recovery. Because we put our bodies through so much when we start a new fitness program. And a, a very few uh, fitness trainers are will push you to take that extra time out to do the rest and relaxation and recovery that your muscles need. Why? Because invariably you're pressed for time and you've already given an hour at the gym and you don't want to give an hour and a half. That happens. And sometimes 
uh, they will give you stuff that is related to the workout, not realizing that there may be other muscles and other areas that are suffering from long overuse and neglect that you need to be stretching and relaxing as well. So it might be important to learn a few very basic um, recovery techniques. Uh, you know, basic core movements, basic stretches, things for muscles that you use regularly, your lower back, your hip flexor, your shoulders, your neck. So many ways that you could be straining yourself, not in the gym, you could be sitting in front of a computer for a very long time and you haven't used those muscles in the gym at all, so those never get stretched, per se. So that's something that you must include in your um, fitness routine because if I'm stuck in a, at, behind a desk a lot and I have a sore uh, neck and shoulder area, won't it affect the way I lift my weights in the gym? It will, right? It means I end up doing less because I'm less able to do what I'm wanting to do. So in order to get that blockade out of the way, I should be able to recover properly from the strain I put my body through on a functional level so that I'm able to do better for my fitness. Today being the seventh day in this series, we want to get rid of stress as being a speed breaker in the middle of your fitness routine or your wellness routine, whatever you have planned for yourself. So being stressed out, having chronic stress is going to uh, derail your fitness efforts eventually because it's, it will, it, it's not, it's no way on earth is a person who's highly stressed in any type of peak condition. If you're not in peak condition, you cannot be sent off to do something that challenges your body. You would not, you would not send a soldier who's been struggling and starving somewhere off to fight a battle for you, would you? No, you wouldn't. You'd allow him to get into great condition first and then he'd be representing you so to speak. So your entire body and your stress levels have to be brought down so that you're functioning at optimum levels. So that everything you do is taking you a step forward rather than it's two steps forward and four steps back, which is how most people approach their health. So um, this would be me today. I'm not going to be taking up too much of your time today at all. I would like to hear from you guys if you have any questions at all, any comments at all. Anything you'd like to know, please do reach out. I've had a couple of people do make, uh, inquire about uh, after my talk on sugar, about BCAs and about replacement uh, recovery drinks. Do they contain sugar or not? I've answered a few queries on my page. Please go ahead and have a look. Uh, if you have any other, if you're interested in knowing more about me and what I do, you can follow my YouTube channel. I'll be posting a link here today. And you can check out my website, which is www.sikritisingh.com. I um, do very exclusive diet and fitness plans. I uh, I'm a weight management specialist. So if somebody is talking about immediate crash diets, that's not my thing. But if you're looking for a long-term solution to your wellness, I'm the person you can reach out to. So please do reach out. Please do email or call or text. All of my details are on my page. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow we start early again. We are up here at 8.30. I think around 8.30 depending on my internet connection. And uh, we'll be talking about what things, this week is all about what things you can add to your lifestyle to really, really expedite the fitness and health process for you. So I'm hoping to see you there tomorrow. Thank you so much guys for joining in today in spite of it being a Sunday. And have a great rest of the weekend. Thank you so much. Bye.